Hi everyone, it's Clyde from Vibrant Soap. Back again after spending two weeks in Italy. It was just a great trip. A lot of inspiration for future paintings. And then as you know, I sometimes I'm inspired by the paintings to do some um, soap designs based on those. So it's good to be back to do some, um, making some soap. And I'm going to be making a commissioned soap, um, basically lavender scented soap with some lavender deep purple and white swirls. I think I'm going to be doing a hanger swirl. And um, my sister-in-law saw my mint crystal soap and really liked the crystal embeds that I put on top of that. So I'm going to do a, a version of that with this soap. So I'll be right back to show you how I do it. Okay, I'm back and I'm ready to um, add the lye solution to the oils. And I've got some um, goat milk powder that's been already diluted um, in the oils. I've got some um, sodium lactate and some other good things in here. Let me just make sure that the milk and the um, kale and clay are blend blended pretty well in there. Today I'm going to add some cocoa butter as my um, super fatting. So that's ready to go. Everything's about 100 degrees right now. So let me add the lye solution. So I'm using uh, lavender fragrance and most florals speed up the whole process of um, saponification. And I don't want it to get too hard on me because I'm going to um, do a hanger swirl. So I'm not going to add the fragrance until uh, the last moment. Let me get this going. This is how I get the bubbles out of my blender. Again, I stir it around. I turn it to the, turn it to the side, and it turns brown like that again because when the lye meets the uh, goat milk, it wants to turn it brown a bit. But that's not going to be too big a problem. All right, so that's enough right there. I'm going to add my um, cocoa butter. Make sure I get that all in. Cocoa butter turns it a bit brown too. But I suspect that's going to go away. I'm also going to add some aloe vera gel. Okay, and that's it for right now. I've got some other things to do, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is make a mess. But I can clean that up. I'm going to add um, the soap mixture to the purple that I've mixed with some titanium dioxide there to make a more of a lighter purple. And I'm going to mix my titanium dioxide to the main batch. So that'll take a lot of the yellow yellowness away from that. So the other thing I'm going to do is add some of that to get all that titanium dioxide out of there. Okay, and I see it's going to thicken up on me already. So let me get that going. I don't want to forget to add the fragrance to this either. So. That, of course, is my deeper purple. And this is the lavender. That's good. Okay, now here's my fragrance. I'm add a little bit to that one. That one. And that one. It smells good actually. It's a um, fragrance oil from Nature's Garden that's called the um, Lavender Martini and it smells super. Actually it's okay if it hardens a little bit because I'm doing a hanger swirl, I do want to um, 
layer it first. And so it layers nicer if it's not so liquid. Okay, there I go. Okay, I'm going to put the, um, use this red silicon mold. And I'm going to start off with the, um, dark purple. Keep some of that. I'm going to pound this down a little bit. And I'm going to try to get some of the air bubbles out of this by stirring it a little bit and make it a little more fluid. And I like um, the contrast of the darkest color near you know, the lightest color. So the dark purple is going to go right next to this white. I've also got more white than anything else too, so I can add a little bit more of that. That's good. I'm gonna do some cleanup too. The scrapes in this purple off the side. That should be good. Let me pound that down a little bit. Now my lavender color. I can just kind of scoop that out now because of its consistency, but I think it's going to be okay. And I'll keep some of each color for the top also. on that. I want to leave a white top so that the crystal embeds that I put on top show up really well. spoon so I can spread that a little easier. And tap that down. More of the lavender. And this is a combination of Two different purples I seem to get a better color that way. Another spoon. And I'll tap that down. Finally, the last of my white.
and then my hanger swirl, push it down, pull it to the side, up, down, up, over, up, and that's all I'm going to do. I don't really care if it's a little swirled on top like this. And tap that down. And now I've got these um, white, lavender, and a darker purple um, glycerin soaps that I cut up to look like crystals and I'm just gonna place them into the top and after this is all done to make it have a little shine I'm gonna put some um, glitter So when I edit this, I'm going to probably take some of this process out because it just takes a while to do. Okay, somehow I lost the last part of my making of video where I finished putting on the crystal embeds and putting on the glitter but this is what it looks like just to catch us back up to speed.